What you're about to see is a Seventh-day Adventist pastor preach to a huge TV audience that the God of the Muslim and the God of the Christian are one and the same. It states clearly in the Quran that Christians must die, and over 200,000 Christians are being martyred each and every year by Muslims right now. This SDA pastor actually preach we should worship Allah along with them. Notice the picture on your screen right now. That's actually Seventh-day Adventist students bowing to Allah in a Muslim mosque in Arusha. I share this picture to illustrate this isn't just one pastor doing this in the SDA church. This photo can be found in the summer issue of Andrews University 2009 Focus Magazine on page 21. You can also view or download this picture by copying the link on your screen right now. The fact this happened back in 2009 proves this is nothing new for the SDA church. As far as we know, they have now been preaching a pro-Islam message in their churches and universities for at least two years. Keep in mind, it has also been at least two years since the Vatican has been performing an ecumenical push with the Islamic people as well. With that being said, let's take a look at the video. That if you want to know the truth about Islam, don't go to Rome. Go to Bethlehem instead. I recently listened to a series of CDs Lectures given by the late Dr. Robert Darnell, a member of our community of faith, an expert in Islamic studies, an anthropologist, in which he carefully chronicled how, in fact, the Quran teaches the seeds of every divine truth that you and I embrace. The seeds are all there. It was uh, Darnell's lifetime mission and conviction to cultivate those seeds in dialogue with the children of the East. And in an hour of history, when the West is turning against those children, ought we not to be the first to raise up our voices in their behalf? Think. Why shouldn't we? For what if... And by the way, the story of Christmas would hardly let us do otherwise, would it? What if the Spirit, the mighty Spirit of Allah... By the way, I got some letters from viewers after that last teaching. And one viewer said, don't you know that the, that the name Allah is a name for Lucifer? Oh, I hope you never, I hope you never, 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 never embrace that. Allah, listen carefully now. Allah is closer to Elohim the Hebrew name for God, then is our English word God. In fact, hold on to your seats. The English name God is a Nordic pagan God. We've taken a pagan God's name and we said, that's the name of our God. And we all call him God. That's a pagan. It's a Nordic pagan myth. So don't you ever get pushed into the corner where you're saying, Allah is a demonic name. Allah is the name of the living God. Allah is the creator of the universe. Allah is the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Ishmael, Jethro, Job, and even Balaam.